Hi again. Uh, previous lesson we added the image onto the web page including the alt attribute to display the information and added some uh, basic information regarding what the, pic uh, the picture offer is. And let's quickly have a look at the page. So it was an image with a description and also what I've done is added the second image which is South Asia and I've tried to add the third picture but I haven't uploaded the third picture because I've not edited but you should have done it by now so let's quickly save this page and refresh this page to see the outcome so we got the two pictures two description and if you notice this middle one I have kind of like changed the color of the background from green to red and using the inline CSS so if you look at inside the middle TD so this is your second row TR okay so this is my product box 2 this is a second box in the table and inside the table the top one is the picture the second one is description so using the external CSS the background color is green however in the middle one I've applied internal CSS yeah, because this is one of the, uh, the advantage, the three methods of CSS you can apply. So it overrides what is stated uh, as a whole. It's kind of like it applies to every TDs, but only for this TD, I've changed it to be like a red color as a tomato. You can brand it according to the color that you require, which make, makes sense for your brand. Okay? So that's what, and it also meets one of the criteria where the 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 external CSS has been overridden. There's varieties worth doing, and this is the easiest method you can do to write external uh, CSS, which has been overridden internally inside the HTML. So this changes the color of the middle box. So every middle box in my web page, that's what I'm going to do. Right, in this tutorial we are going to just quickly recap on the image code and then we're going to correct the display elements which is causing these problems where the the boxes are going over the size of the table size which is two three seven pixel and trying to find out where the mistakes are and correct so that way all the images will be inside the box inside and all the information is going to be inside the actual box so it's correctly it doesn't go outside the box and makes it look messy now just quick recap image code is open arrow img src the folder name and the name of the image okay so if you look at this one is img home so if I go inside the home I got southeastasia.jpg do not forget every image you need to have alt attribute applied correctly and that kind of like describe what the story is trying to tell of the image so in my case at the moment it's a Southeast Asia holidays holiday so that's what I put in there so now let's open up the CSS and figure out what's happening so go and look at the code where this TD is so it's product box so the product box itself the CSS size is 3237 pixel wide and the table I'm putting inside is the width of 100% so literally it's going to be same size as 237 the pictures we've edited are the wide of 237 pixel as well sometimes it, it does get a little bit the pictures you have edited as a said it could be bigger or smaller so you just need to uh, check it later but my proposal is is the TD which is inside the product table is inheriting elements which are stated previously on other TDs it could be on the the, the table we use for the menus okay and if you go up 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 up, up and this body this h1 header nav uh, the links of the TDs and it most likely is to do with this one because it's, I've put it here as a TD by itself it will apply to every single TD which has been stated on the 
web page so what we need to do is we need to make sure that this is correctly linked under the the main uh, menu so let me just quickly go and have a look at it at the top under the main menu so the format table name is main link and the TD is inside the main link so what we can do is link that together so I have to go there and just put in hash main underscore links space TD so hopefully this padding everything which is applied here for the TD is only going to apply to the main links save it file save hopefully fresh okay you can already see something has changed already so the background color which is going all the way out which I was presuming was the margin has disappeared now all we need to do is there's a little bit of gap that on the sides which is to do with that measurement which is coming from there so somewhere is up again there's either margin or padding applied in the TD which has been inheritance from previously now it could be under the table on its own but let's see there's still something uh, it could be the TR did I add any TR previously so need to go and find it can't see anything sub TDs main product box this is the the prod table is the table inside the prod box and the TD is, 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 seems to be fine okay let me just uh, inside this uh, table if we just add in margin uh, margin 0 px so just trying to see if we add margin is, is there any margin applied on the table to take it out so save that uh, so it's file save or control s and then refresh okay no changes still the same so if that's not affecting let's check the padding 0 p x and semicolon save it control s refresh okay that is not affecting anything so where could it be coming from margin left this is outside that's your border so I'm going to cut that out and paste it inside the TD control V control S to save refresh it okay you notice that something got disappeared little bit so now there's still something is affecting it around the border so still need to find it so that has cleared little bit out so cannot be here because there's, there's no padding in there the table did not do anything I'm just wondering is the table row contain anything which is picked up from previously but I have not added any TRs table rows in the CSS so where is it picking up from something is overriding that So this was been uh, I don't know if this is causing the problem because there's padding 10 pixel here as well but by applying that padding 0 and a margin 0 that wipes that out so the only other possible solution is maybe I put padding 0 in here see if that so this is the product box which is the uh, so this product box has got product table inside the product box so save that CSS controller save that refresh no but there is some kind of issue which needs to be corrected and it seems table apply put that in there as well control C so table control V control s to save refresh that's not 
the issue. I'm just going to put TR in here. Open bracket. So TR is the table row, but that one is inside the pro table. So I'm just going to copy that and put it in front of the TR. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it in there. So margin zero, padding zero. So it cancels everything else out. Control S to save. Refresh. No, it's not budging. It's just that millimeter or few millimeter which is messing around. What I'm going to do is maybe try internal CSS. TR. TD. If I do minus five. So basically, instead of adding the margin, we are taking the margin out. See if that corrects it. So it's not a wonderful solution, but no, it's nothing to do with that. Put minus five there. Control S. I'm just saying uh, what is going to allow it to move inwards. So that is not doing the issue. So zero here is sufficient. Zero PX is sufficient. It's not moving a budge in there. Now the only area it could be is here. So let me just try here. I'm not going to put a little bit bigger figure. Margin 10. Control S. Refresh. Okay, so that has gone quite deep inside because I don't want too much to go in there. So just try minus 5, control S, refresh. Okay, so it looks like it's something to do with this table padding, which is of margin, which is affecting it. And it doesn't seem the zeros to be working, so let's put 3, control S to save and refresh okay getting that closer maybe one more minus two control s literally should be oops literally should be on the line there we are perfect okay so you're going to get some issues and just need to figure out where the mistake is and correct it so just going to put here a note to Correct the position of the data within the table. Remember, more comments you got, better for you because you should be able to explain. Because this is something new that you're not sure of, and it actually does something solid for the web page to correct. Okay, so. I'm expecting you guys to add all the images on your home page to display this, the current offers and the next website we're going to do is maybe add a next tutorial which is going to add a simple image for the banner again we're not going to have a rotating slideshow or anything like that it's just a blank screen with a special offer on the home page thank you guys